Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are using 10 inch deco mesh to make a ruffle wreath with a beautiful curl insert for patriotic US holidays. Let's get started. For today's wreath, I'm going to be using a 10 inch blue deco mesh roll and I'm going to be using two of these poly pro mesh ribbon. It's nice and foiled, beautiful thick ribbon and of course it's 10 inches by 10 yards. Also I'm going to use a Dollar Tree wreath form. This one is 14 inches. Then we're going to need 18 pipe cleaners for the wreath and then two more pipe cleaners to attach the centerpiece. We're also going to be using this mesh ribbon that I am absolutely obsessed with and have been ever since Dollar Tree came out with it. It comes in a few different colors, but it's just so pretty and it does, I know it kind of looks like a spider kind of thing, but you know what? It just adds an elegant touch, especially these white ones. So I tell my family every time you go to Dollar Tree, if you see this, get me a few rolls. For our centerpiece, we're going to be using this super sweet little gnome that I got at the Dollar Tree and also all I did to it was give it a layer of Mod Podge and I was not stingy with it. I really just gave it a nice thick layer of Mod Podge, let it dry overnight. And I also covered all the edges just in case because, I mean, this is from the Dollar Tree and I'm, I was afraid that it would uh, maybe like break away over here like it did on this side. So I wanted to make sure that it's nice and solid. All the sides are sealed and all this gnome will need is two pipe cleaners in the back and we'll attach it to the wreath. Next, I'm going to put the pipe cleaners on and we're going to need 18. This wreath form has six sections. In each section, we're going to put three pipe cleaners. This is very simple. I do this for all my wreaths. And this time I'm actually going to use two of these. I'm going to do the first and second row. And here I'm going to just give it a nice twist. You don't need to do too many twists because don't forget we're going to put more stuff on there. We're going to be twisting and twisting it. And then I'm going to fold this one in on the first two rows. Next I'm going to use row three and four. And then here I'm going to do two of these pipe cleaners because it's a wider area. And here we go. And just one twist. And this one we're going to fold out. Let's remove this. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around for a total of 18 of these pipe cleaners being attached. If you are going to have a wreath that's a little bit on the loose side, you can definitely grab your hot glue gun and just give a dollop of hot glue as you're putting this on. Some people just put a little bit of hot glue, then they put the pipe cleaner on there or just put the pipe cleaner on and then give it a, you know, a dot of hot glue. I don't do it because my wreaths are usually on the fuller side and when it's this compact with two of these and we're doing the ruffle method, they're going to be holding each other up. All the pipe cleaners that are on row one and two, we're going to phase them in. This is just easier to find them as we're working. And then all the pipe cleaners on the outside two rows, row three and four, we're going to just face them out. I'm going to get started by cutting our blue deco mesh. But before I do, I wanted to mention that in the description box below, I will give you a list of all my supplies and where I got them. For this part, you can either use a rotary cutter or a heat tool. I don't recommend using scissors just because, um, especially for deco mesh like this, it's just, it's a little too rough. We are just going to do 10 inch little strips. Another thing, I do not fold them like one on top of another. I don't do that anymore because I find that when you're taking them apart as you're using them, you have a chance of fraying. So I just leave them just the way they are, put them on the side very gently and continue cutting. You will need 18 of these 10 inch strips. I'm just showing you a laundry basket that I have and I just very, very gently put all my rolls in here and I'm just going to take one at a time. None of the mesh is tangled in, in anything and I'm just picking them up very gently. Now it's time to get started on our gorgeous red, silver and blue deco mesh. We're going to be cutting this mesh into 30 inch strips. Since our board is 24 with the sides, it's 25 total. I'm going to grab a ruler and all I need is five and a half inches because we have a half right here. So I have five and a half and then I'm going to cut at 30 at the end right here. 
and if you're going to use your heat tool just make sure you go in between the lines so it's a beautiful and smooth cut I just tend to use this because I don't like the smell that comes off of the heat tool I don't think it's good for you but if you have a well ventilated room or you can open a window somewhere I would definitely use the heat tool and now I'm going to be cutting 18 strips of this 30 inch mesh I'm just rolling it gently and putting it to the side and I'm just going to make sure that I have 18 of these 30 inch strips Now I'm ready to make my ruffles. I have my wreath on the side ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the inner row and then I'm going to do the outer row. You can do by section however you want. I just find it easier to do it that way. I have my strip here and I'm going to unfold it where it curls down onto my mat. I'm going to lay it in front of me. At the bottom here, you can just start going in. I just, it's, it's a habit of mine. I'm going to give it not a curl, a little fold, just a little fold, just so it's kind of facing down. And then from there, I'm going to go in and just holding it with my fingers. I'm just kind of accordion style making a ruffle. Try to keep to the center of your deco mesh and go for it. When I get to the end and I have about an inch left, I'm going to take that and kind of give it a little fold and fold it into my center just at the end right here and there you go you have your ruffle if you find that you kind of went crooked like seems like I did right here in the center just move it over and look at this beautiful beautiful bow I'm going to open it up put it inside and I'm going to give it one twist after you twist it don't forget to take your pipe cleaners and just face them up because we want to be able to find them when we're going to be adding more to the center I'm going to grab the next one and fold it and just make sure it curls onto your table one little fold at the bottom putting my thumbs right here and here's the fun part just accordion style making my little ruffle or actually big beautiful ruffle I'm going to just fold it and ruffle it in. Check my center, make sure everything is good. I seem to go in the middle a little bit towards the side. There we go. Grabbing my next pipe cleaner that's in this middle row. When I put my ruffle on here, I do tend to just push it down and then give it a nice twist or two. And then I'm going to face my pipe cleaners up. Look at this, my friends. We are two ruffles in and it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. I am all done with the wreath. It is nice and full, but I don't play with it as in, you know, sometimes put things in place. I don't really touch it until everything is on. That means this next part. So when it comes to this gorgeous ribbon that I cannot just, I cannot get over, I'm going to cut it into 10 inch strips because our blue deco mesh is 10 inches also. I cut 18 strips of this ribbon and you need about a roll and a half because in one roll you could get 11 of these 10 inch strips. I'm going to grab my 10 inch little blue strip and I'm going to make a curl, just roll it. I'm going to make a little tube, I'm going to grab the tube grab my white ribbon and I'm going to put that right there in the center of our bundle let's do another one I'm going to roll my blue deco mesh not too tight doesn't need to be too tight then I put my mesh ribbon right on top let's go to the next section I'm going to put it right in the center here make it nice and tight two good twists and keep on twisting and you can do one of two things you can either twist it and send the pipe cleaners back or that you know it's not going to show we have this is really fluffy so I know it's not going to show I'm just going to grab my pipe cleaner and about an inch in I'm going to give it a little snap with my wire cutters here I'm going to bend this in half and then bend this back kind of and I don't have to worry I don't have to shuffle through things and you know play with my pipe cleaners there it's all set and it's full and I'm just going to continue doing this to all 18 bundles all right my sweet friends look at this gorgeous 
big wreath. It is massive. It is fluffy. It's beautiful. The white is absolutely stunning in here. If you're not able to find this mesh ribbon, you can use any Dollar Tree white ribbon. That's about inch and a half to two inches. Here is a grow grain one from the Dollar Tree. And here is the polka dot one. You can definitely use those. And the reason I say the, you know, the thicker ones is because you do want a little bit of volume. The reason white is important is because of my little gnome that's going to go in the center. It has the white beard and everything, and it's just going to balance everything out. Speaking about the gnome, let's put some pipe cleaners on the back. Since I have my grow grain ribbon over here, I'm just going to cut two pieces I'm grabbing my pipe cleaner finding the middle and then with my two fingers right here I'm going to make a little about an inch and a half width and let's just put that right there a little bit more hot glue on top then I'm going to grab my ribbon and just place over it because this gnome is a little bit on the tall side, I decided to put the other pipe cleaner a little bit higher. So it kind of balances nicely on the wreath. Same thing, find the middle, make a little flat surface here. And I'm just twisting the pipe cleaners to the first row right here. And I'm kind of doing it lightly because I kind of go back and forth until I like where my centerpiece is centered. And then when I like where it's centered, I'm just going to really lock in the pipe cleaners in the back and make them tight. Well, my friends, I hung my wreath up and I was like, mm, we are missing something. The blue is pretty, everything's pretty, but I feel like I need to outline the blue right here and on the little feet. I'm grabbing a Sharpie white paint marker and I'm just going to go right around and just trace it. Just a little bit, kind of stitching. It's just going to give it not even stitching, kind of just around. I want it to have like this kind of country feel. And I'm going to do the same thing to the hat. I also decided since it's kind of stitched all the way around, I'm going to go right along the tip right here and do the same stitching action. Apparently I can't stop because I want to do the star, but the star, I'm just going to go all the way around the edges right here and do the star. And I'm going to go around here and on the red, I'm just going to do a solid color, no stitching on the red. All right, now it's ready to go on my front door.